Latin South Central I got skills on the mic and the theta And when I play a tape now you know it ain't beta I bring this to tickets so don't be a hater Or I'ma take you down either now or later Oh, I watch the sitcoms on VHS And I watch the sitcoms on DVD Hi, DVD update here for um, my CED collection part 2 CED collection part two. Um, I got a comment last time about my hat or my shirt. Anyway, I said that I would wear my uh, hat. Uh, I said I wear my Dawn of the Dead hat. So it's a little dirty. I haven't been worn in a while, but there it is. That's what it is. Just plain hat. Good stuff. Okay, uh, moving on to my CD collection. Oh yes, I also have a Dawn of the Dead hoodie. Thought I'd show that off as well. This one I got at a Hot Topic. So it's actually the back of it. It's pretty cool too. But uh, I'll show that in later if I feel like it. All right, on to the actual content CDs. Here we go. What do we got here? I didn't even look at the title yet. The Man Who Shot Liberty. Balance. Huh. I don't need, uh, it's a western obviously because it has John Wayne in it. And it, uh, it's been it was released by Paramount. Um, it looks like, I don't know, the back is all wrinkly. I don't know if the, I'm using my webcam to do this so the quality wouldn't be that good, but it looks like it got wet or something. But, uh, oh, it has John Wayne and James Stewart in it. Jimmy Stewart, huh? Interesting. Nineteen eighty two. That's when this video disc was made. But um the reason I got this, like I said, it was ten cents at uh a thrift store. And my mom loves John Wayne movies. She has pretty much everyone ever. Uh next is the Blues Brothers. With uh, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, of course. Uh, a lot of people love this movie, you know. Um, I'm have to admit, though, <coughs> that I've never seen it. I've seen bits and pieces, but never all the way through. I really should get around to doing that. Um, but also on this one, I'm noticing. I don't think on any of these. I'm not sure about my previous ones, but on the Blues Brother ones here. And this is, was released by, I don't know if you can see that, MCA Video Disc Inc. So MCA basically. But this one is kind of cool because on disc one, which would be the the, the uh, first side, it has chapters. Um, I guess on some of the uh, CD players you can choose the chapters. If you uh, look at re the related videos or whatever in the bottom bottom corner there, it'll have some other... Uh, Select Division and CED videos that are on YouTube, and one actually shows shows one being used and things like that. It has a uh, numerical counter that goes up, uh, and so this one is kind of cool because it says on disc one and it has this list right here. They're kind of like chapters. It says uh, it says the times. So uh, she caught the um, caught the caddy uh, would be at six minutes. And the next chapter will be at 16 minutes, and the next chapter is at 26 minutes, and then 29 minutes. So, uh, but that's the thing here. See, this one, I'm not sure if it flips over, but um, this is a two disc. And so, uh, if you see down here, it says, I don't know if you can see it, but under there it says, part two of two discs. So, um, I don't know if that means. I'm guessing that means that there's a, you, buy, you buy another one of these hard cases. I'm not too sure. Like I said, ten cents at the flea market, or not the flea market, the thrift store. Um, the one when I check these out, well, let's go to the next one real quick. Uh, Greece. Uh, I kind of got you know I got these just for like antiques' sake. Um, I 
doubt they'll be worth anything. Uh, but you never know. So I went through the, they had a ton of them, and I went through the ones, and, you know, got the mainstream ones and the ones that I like and things like that. And, uh, oh, wow, what do you know? It, it is two parts. Here's part one. So that's kind of cool. I didn't know that I had both of them. It's been a long time since I've looked at these. They've been up on my shelf, on my uh, bookshelf there at the very top. But, um, so yeah, here's part one of two, and then I had part two earlier. But when I was checking these out, the, um, the woman that was checking me out asked uh, if I had a player to play these, and I was like, no. She's like, oh, well, a guy was in here earlier, and he got a bunch of them, and uh, and he had a player, and he was talking about it. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I wish I, wish I would have been here when he was picking them up. I could have talked to him about it. But also, kind of like, oh, man, I kind of got here kind of late. Uh, what if he got all the good ones or some really good ones? But, you know, I made out all right. Uh, airplane. Funny movie there. Um, like I said, I'm not going to say too much about these movies because they'll probably be in, like, a DVD collection video that I have. Or uh, they're just, um, you know general stuff. Like, everyone knows Airplane, and everyone knows Grease, and the Blues Brothers. Now, um, this one's a little interesting. It's, uh, it, it was released by, it's, uh, The Complete Beatles. It was released by MGM up there. So, just, so we have Paramount, MGM, MCA. And if you check out that Wikipedia link that I put on there, uh, It'll say all the uh, companies that actually made these. Now, it also said that it took like <clears throat> 10 years of setbacks or something, a, a long time of setbacks before they could re they really hit the street. I'm thinking if these hit the street like when they first were developed, they might have actually taken off because uh, I've seen the videos on YouTube of them actually playing. I mean, they're not that bad quality. But uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, let's see. says, let me take you down. Now, for the first time, you can relive the Beatles legend with a stunning two-hour musical rockumentary. Oh, that's cool. And it has, uh, I don't know, damn. It looks like, <laughs> starting here, down, and then continued over here to right here. Is, so here and here are all the songs that are on this. So, yeah, it's 119 minutes. You know, uh, I bought my laser disc player on eBay for 60 bucks. I might check eBay to see if they have any uh, CD players. Although I've seen, I, I, I have most of these, these on um, like DVD or something, but I might want to check that out. I mean, I never, I never was a, a huge Beatles fan, but I think this might be interesting to check out. I might have to search if this is on DVD. Next, of course, uh, a John Travolta film here, released by Paramount. Saturday Night Fever. Never seen this. I don't really think I want to either, but never know. It's not really my kind of flick. <clears throat> Here's another interesting one. Uh, the Rolling Stones' uh, greatest or great video hits. Uh, I guess it's part of the Video Rewind collection. Uh, it says, featuring the complete, uncensored versions of Too Much Blood and She Was Hot, plus ten other Rolling Stone videos, plus new conceptual scenes filmed exclusively for this disc. So, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, got all, it's got a bunch of music videos of the Rolling Stones on there. It's got a pretty cool cover. It's got a, um, I guess it's a picture frame. I thought maybe it was a TV at first, but it's just a picture frame, and then... It's busting through with glass shatter over That's pretty cool. So, and there's a list of uh, the music videos that it has on here. So, that's cool. These are all in stereo, too, I've noticed. Unedited versions of 12 other music videos. So, that's the Rolling Stones on Video Rewind. 